the moral fortitude of America is at risk. Now, when I say that, what does that mean? Because in general, we do not have any pro morality programs in our educational system to teach our children really code of ethics. We do have schools that have rules, and school rules also have missions and whatnot, but because I've not been in elementary school or in secondary education for a long time, I can't tell you what the word is that they call the moral behavior of children that is expected. We also know that we have a bunch of kids that come from broken homes um, and latchkey situations that mean that kids are unattended in their home. And sometimes it's a form of, well, emotional, psychological, intellectual, and spiritual abuse. Or that's how it is collected in that child's heart, mind, and soul. We are not a perfect society, that is true. But the biggest situation that brings your child into notoriety is you. You, as a parent, did something incorrect. Now, on certain things that is true, on other things it is not. But generally speaking, what I've observed as a trained journalist and a pretty well-seasoned educator at this time is that parents never pick up a book from the child development industry and read how to correctly parent their child. What I see is a lot of isolation of children during this time of COVID. What I also know from having suffered through children of homeschooling is that many of them are not properly socialized. What I can also further tell you is while I do believe in that industry is healthy for many types of children with special needs, I can also say that parents are suffering because many of them are not trained teachers in any way. So what we end up now is with the opportunity to give children high school diplomas when they've never actually gone through a public school system today. So I'm talking about a lot of different concepts that are related to education and the rearing and raising of children who will eventually be working and serving, hopefully successfully, in the American society of the future and, frankly, today. The appropriate time for a child to learn to work and serve is about age three. And a lot of parents will not quite grasp that because they did nothing in planning to have a child, let alone in nothing of reading and strategizing with their partner of choice and how they were going to plan the overall moral education and business development of that child. The reason I call it business development is not to be warped in saying that we're going to put a little three-year-old child in the business because that would actually be inappropriate as much as it might get some sort of accolades on YouTube TV. The reality is what I'm talking about is that children at age three have just about enough self-control physically and emotionally to understand the rules of a home. And when parents do not learn about language development of their children, they can often be delayed in how they have the ability to communicate in very simple ways at age two and three. But at the same time, children can learn to serve their family by helping mom pick up the toys, helping them put food on the table sometimes if they're careful, or simply to help them set the table for the family. At the same time, children can be taught to throw things in the garbage, they can be taught not to touch the stove or the microwave, and they can be taught what is and isn't okay. But if you're a brand new parent and you have no really decent extended family around you with good child rearing skill sets to abound your child and help to raise a thinking child that is morally upright and a professional person for the future of America, then I fault you for being too lazy to go to a Goodwill store or a bookstore to pick up a book on parenting a child and a healthy child for your family and for America.